Hello, welcome to another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace reporting live here at the Iridium Jazz Club here in New York City. Detroit native pianist Jerry Allen always fused the avant-garde with the traditional. And her latest Motema Records release, Flying Toward the Sound, is a solo recording where she pays tribute to three of her all-time favorite pianists, which are Cecil Taylor, McCoy Tyner and Herbie Hancock, but she also released her very first live recording in her 25 years as a leader with Timeline featuring the tap dancing skills of Maurice Chestnut. Tonight here at the Iridium, she'll be playing with Timeline and she's going to be giving her fans just a little bit of both the funky as well as the traditional. Timeline is your very first live CD on the Motema label, and you hooked up and partnered with Maurice Chestnut, one of the profound young tap dancers in America. How did this happen? Well, actually, Maurice um, is from the New Jersey area, and a uh, world-class tap dancer that happened to be my daughter's tap teacher. And I, you know, was watching him as he was working with her and I thought wow you know this is somebody who um, you know I'd like to explore this, this idea with because the concept is actually something that um, I've been really interested in doing for many years and actually recorded tap on one of my first albums that, that ever that came out in in the 80s and I always wanted to revisit it because you know, it seemed like a very potent idea to have the dance and the, the music um, kind of married together again on stage. It's not a new idea, but something that we haven't really seen kind of uh, in this particular way. I mean, there are really great dancers out there, Savion, for instance, who um, was greatly influenced by Gregory Hines, who was greatly influenced by Sammy Davis Jr. and that the line and Maurice is a part of that line and I thought well you know we're going to really um, explore just the the potency of having the dance and the music uh, integrated together again uh, on stage and <laughs>
let's talk about your beginnings, Detroit. It's safe to say that you've come from a great line of great Detroit pianists, Dr. Barry Harris, Tommy Flanagan, Hank Jones, and now Jerry Allen. How did you get exposed to jazz, and what is it that you're bringing to the piano that some of your predecessors have done throughout the years? Wow. Well, those are uh, those men are giants, and uh, certainly my dad. I have to say, my father is really the reason that I'm involved with, with jazz, and because of, of his love for the music, uh, I became, um, and, you know, very excited and. and uh, Let's just say it swept up, you know, by his love for the music. Charlie Parker and Ella Fitzgerald and um, many of the great musicians that he actually saw live. So because Detroit um, was such a generous uh, scene in terms of the musicians there really reached out to the young people and, and pulled us along at the time. Uh, people like Kenny Garrett and um, Bob Hurst and myself, under Marcus Belgrave and uh, Roy Brooks, great musicians of that nature. So through them, you know, we were raised uh, on the music and Tommy Flanagan and Hank Jones and, and Barry Harris all are huge influences, not just on the Detroit scene, but on the you know, on on the New York scene, of course, and the international scene. Um, so, I mean, uh, f for me to have had, um, you know, that upbringing, I think it's just a great blessing uh, to have seen these musicians and um, someone like a Dr. Billy Taylor, who we just um, we just lost and. You know, to have um, contact with these people, it's really a, a, a great blessing to have known um, many of them and to have heard them play and to hear them, uh, you know, to hear them talk about the music. <laughs> One of the things I really admire about you is um, your professor of music, and you're, you've taught and you're teaching younger musicians the history of the music and interpretation of the music. How hard and how easy is that now, sitting where you are right now as a musician, a professional musician? How hard is it? Um. You know, it's a for, the, for me the music. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to have the opportunity to be doing what what I'm doing, to uh, to love something, and, and have the opportunity to make a living at it, and and uh, spend your life doing the thing you really love. It's a great blessing. It's not hard at all. It's you know, it's a wonderful opportunity, and you think about. Um, I think about the way that I was raised and the fact that people took time with me and um, 
it's my turn, you know, to uh, to pass this, you know, the same kind of. Uh, I mean, that's how the music continues to evolve through the next generation of players. And looking at uh, Casa and Maurice and and uh, what they're bringing to uh, to the music, and there's as a whole generation of amazing. Uh, young musicians that are really um, knowledgeable and have done their homework and they're really evolved at a very young age. And you see it with, you know, young people 12, you know, 13, 14 years old that are so developed. And you say, well, you know, music is well and, and it's, uh, it's alive and and we have a lot to look forward to. What is it that you stress with your, your students? What is the, the key element of learning the music? And what are some of the things that you're trying to pass down to the next generation? Well, I think that the key is to um, really stay connected to the roots of the music and to the way that the musicians that we all uh, are really inspired by the way they learned and the kinds of things that they learned. It's it's a very um, intense, rigorous uh, responsibility musically. And so people have to really work hard. And it's a lifetime of that kind of work. And just to be patient and to understand that, to really um, to evolve at the level that you know that people um, who we really look up to as the greats of this music um, to get to that place you have to be patient and you have to really love the music enough to spend that time and and to deal with the ups and downs and the frustrations of, of you know being a, being an artist That'll do it again for another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace reporting live here at the Iridium here in New York City. I'd like to personally thank Jerry Allen for her time, as well as the staff here at the Iridium. As always, please visit my website, www.thepacereport.com, for my weekly column as well as my past segments. Until next time, remember, if it's in the groove, it'll make you move. Peace.